in order to save on some exothermic reaction, I'm going to put some in because most of it's going to go into the bottom anyways. Uh, and that's just to save on the amount of resin that I put in at one time. So you know the colors, purple, violet, and some ice ice baby glitter. And this is just for the bottom. This is kind of punky so it probably soaks some up. Uh, but that's why I'm doing this right now and I'll come back in an hour and we'll put some more in. All right, so you notice that nothing's sticking up anymore. Well, because it was big cavities down the side, so I mixed up some more off camera and poured in some more. And now I've got like six, six inches of resin. I did not want to do that. But, see if we can get it out of here. It's way too much.
Okay, so I have some two to one slow set uh, mixed with acetone. Uh, this is so punky that uh, it's not even like. <laughs> so I'm having a really rough time with it, so I am going to try to uh, stabilize it uh, by soaking in the. the resin and when the evaporation happens hopefully uh, this wood is a little better stabilized and I can turn it better than that it's just so punky she's not staying together at all so It's just soaking that up. You see that? Look at that. Whoosh. <laughs> Soaks it right up. That's why we're doing this. The drawback is you just have to wait for it. Let me see what it looks like, huh? Sneak peek. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so this, uh, <laughs> as you can see, it soaked it up uh, pretty well, but it is still tacky, and we are the next day. So I am going to take this out and set it in the sunshine. It's supposed to be in the 80s today, and hopefully we can evaporate off some of the acetone that I mixed in, and the heat will help set it up. Uh, now what I do hope is that I put enough on that it's soaked in through the other side or I have to do this again. And if that's the case, this is going to be a really long project. So we are going to end it here. I know y'all didn't want to hear that, but I have just way too much to do to this piece of, I think it's maple burl. Uh, Rick, what did you do to me, Rick? <laughs> I'm like, oh, look, here's an easy one. Uh-huh. That's what I get for thinking. Uh, so, yeah, she was pretty punky. Uh, she's punkier than my box elders. Uh, this is all, all really cool looking down in here. Hopefully, I don't have to do too much of this on the inside. Uh, this thing here was an issue. Uh, it, it was just, it was horrid. Uh, and I wouldn't be able to hold on to it. So, I'm going to stop here. We'll let that set up and cure. Uh, and then we'll get back to turning it. The off balance ain't helping me any, and I don't think that uh, any kind of mortise would hold up to that off balance that's going on. It doesn't seem bad, but here, look. So you see, <laughs> it, it is still heavy on one side. So here, I got a couple big cracks. We'll probably just fill them with uh, a UV resin or something. I don't know. We'll see. It, it's got a lot of this other resin into it, so it's already going to be a clear lightning strike through that moon, and there's another one somewhere. There was two of them. Oh, there it is. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I still have to clean this up, so some of that may disappear. 
But I'm going to take it out, set it in sunshine, and let it cook in the 80 degree sun here. And uh, go enjoy the rest of my day. So, that being said, I hope you all have a great weekend. And we'll see you next week.